Hello everyone. After projection of cones, now we will proceed towards first term of cones. So first let me tell you what exactly it is. If we cut a cone, if we cut a cone by a section plane parallel to its base circle and if we remove the upper portion, we will get a first term of cone. So by cutting a cone, we will get a first term, something like this. It has a upper face, a lower face or lower base. Now the first base is known as the base and the second base is also known as cut face. So let's take a problem for the same. Draw the isometric projection of a first term of a cone of diameter 30 mm at a smaller end diameter 50 mm at the larger or bigger end and the axial height is 70 mm. First, resting on its bigger end on HP, axis perpendicular to VP. Second, resting on its smaller end on HP, axis perpendicular to VP. Here, we have two methods of projection. First is progressive construction method and second one is extraction method. So, solving first part by progressive construction method and then we will solve second part by extraction method. Now coming to first part, it is resting on its bigger end on HP. So the bigger end with dia 50 it is resting on HP and the cut face with dia 30 mm is on top and axis perpendicular to VP. So this is the position. Now for construction first we have to draw the circle of diameter 50 along horizontal plane of isoset and then we will mark the center, center of the circular plane, then we will draw the axis, solid axis, again we have to mark the top center, center of the cut face and then from the top center we will draw the cut face or the circle of diameter 30. So here first we have to draw the isometric projection of the base circle which is 50. So marking limits of 50 along first and along second iso axis, then drawing lines parallel to first and second iso axis like this. Next step. Using four center method, we have to bisect on the sides of the square. Yes, next step. Larger diagonal. Next step, from midpoint to opposite corner, we have to draw lines like this. Again, from midpoint to opposite corner. And by doing this, we'll get two centers here and these are other two centers. Next step, using four center method, we have to draw the circle. So, this is the first center, this is first radius, first part, this has second center, this much has second radius, second part, third center, third radius, and last, fourth center and this is Full 3 days. So this is complete projection of the circle. Next we have to mark the center, center of the circle and the same point will be the center of the square also. So drawing lines from midpoints. So this is the center. Now here Using first method, first we have to draw the axis. Axis is perpendicular to HP. So from this point we have to draw the line perpendicular, sorry, parallel to third or particular iso axis for the given length of 70 mm. 
So from this point to this point, the height or length is is equals to the same is equals to x seventy. Now this is the center of the cut face. From this point, first we have to draw the center lines parallel to first and second x to axis. So from this point, draw lines parallel to this axis and parallel to this axis. So parallel to second x to axis like this. These are axis lines and then parallel to first x to axis. Now we have two central lines with us for the top circle or for the cut face. Now here from the center we will mark the end limits of the upper circle. Now here from the center to the extreme end this length is equal to half of 50, 25, ISO 25. Here the total diameter is 30. So half of 30 is 15. So we have to mark 15 along first ISO axis and 15 along second ISO axis on both directions. So this is the set of points. Now from these points we have to draw lines parallel to first and second iso axis. So this line is parallel to first iso axis from this point and from the second point again drawing lines parallel to first iso axis. Then from remaining points line parallel to second iso axis. Right. Actually Here these two lines are going to meet. Now next, again we have to repeat the process from midpoint to opposite corner, from midpoint to opposite corner and larger diagonal. Again here we have four centers of rotation. Now as the first term is resting on its bigger end upper circular face or cut face is completely visible so from the first center this is visible part from the second center and second radius again this is visible from third center and third radius this is visible and from fourth center this is the fourth radius this is visible now for the bottom base, for the base of the circle, which is having diameter 50, only frontal portion is visible. So here we have to draw the generator first, starting from this point, point of intersection of curved portion and diagonal to the corresponding point on the base circle and please check whether these generators are lying tangential to the bottom base circle or not. So this is the final projection. Here the first term of cone is resting on its bigger end and cut face on top is also parallel to the is also parallel to the horizontal plane. Next dimensioning for height, we have to draw dimensioning line parallel to the solid axis and extending both centers parallel to first or parallel to second iso axis, we have to do dimensioning. Height here is 70. Also we have to show the diameters of both circles. On both it is 30 diameter 30 in diameter of
over down this or bigger size bigger end is 50 dia 50 and last direction of observation from the central line so this is it now in the next part the first one is resting like this on the smaller end on HP on the ground and the bigger end the bigger circular part is on the top side so here for the second part we are going to use extraction method and for extraction method first we will draw the helping figure, helping base along first and second ISO axis by taking length ISO 50 along first and second ISO axis. Next, we have to draw lines from these two ends parallel to first and second ISO axis. So from first ISO axis and then from second ISO axis. Now this is the projection of helping square. Next here you are, we are using extraction method. So first we have to complete the cuboid. So drawing lines parallel to third ISO axis or simply extending all generators, all corners, all generators parallel to third ISO axis. Now here along these lines we have to mark length of the generator 70 from all corners. So this is ISO 70. This is also ISO 70. This is ISO 70. And last, this one is ISO 70. Now drawing these corners, we will get the top base. Now we have two base, top base and bottom base. Out of which, on the top, we have to draw a circle of diameter 50 mm, and on the bottom base, we have to draw a circle of diameter 30. So here, for drawing a circle of diameter 30 centrally, what we have to do is, we have to mark limits of second square that is 30 by marking limits of 10 mm from each corner. Why? Because 50 minus 30, 50 the size of bigger circle, minus 30 the size of smaller circle will be 20. So 20 is the total gap. 20 by 2 for both sides will get 10. So we'll mark limits of 10 from each corner and then drawing lines from these points we we'll get another square on the bottom base of size 30. Now we have both the helping figures of size 50 and size 30. Next we have to draw isometric projection of circles on both the squares. Again, using four center method, first is we have to mark midpoints of the square for the upper base, then larger diagonal next, from midpoint to opposite corner, from midpoint to opposite corner, these are four centers of rotation these are four centers and repeating the process first marking the points of the square second drawing larger diagonal third for the helping square drawing lines from 
which points to opposite corner. Again, here we have all four centers of rotation. Now, for the final outline, we know that upper circular base of the F50 is completely visible. So, using dark pencil from the first center, this is my first center, this is my first radius. This is dark. Second center and second radius. Third center, this will be third radius. Fourth center and this is fourth radius. Now for bottom base, only frontal portion will be visible. So from the first center, this is first point, only half is visible. From second center, this will be the radius. Third center, this is third radius and half portion is visible. So showing only half of this ellipse. Now from this point to this point, drawing generator like this. So this is the final answer. Now last dimensioning this. Is the diameter of a smaller circle or cut face? This is 50, this one is 30. One more thing we have to show the axis or center line. So from the midpoints of the square, twin lines parallel to first and second axis axis so these are two centers center of the cut face and center of the bottom base now from first center to second center this is the axis solid axis now extending central lines and drawing line parallel to Solid axis for dimensioning. 70. Last direction of observation will free me from the center point along second iso axis. So these are final projections of the first term of cone. In the first case, the first term is resting on its bigger end, and in the second case, the first term is resting on its shorter base or cut face. Here we have used the method of progressive construction and there the method is extraction method. You can use both the methods or any one out of these two methods. Now I request you to please solve these two problems on your sheet and in case you face some problems or if you have any doubt regarding this problem and regarding another problem related to engineering graphics, please write on the comment section.